these problems are about something called expanded notation of decimals. And to write something in expanded notation, you basically write each of the numbers times its place value. So this 5 um, would be 5 times, and it's in the 1's place, so it would be 5 times 1. That would be one of our uh, pieces. And then we add that to the next piece. This one is 0 times the tenths. It's because it's 0 times the tenths place, we're not even going to write it. And then the next one is 8 times the hundredths place. So that would be like this, 8 times 1 hundredth. And that would be expanded notation for 5.08. There's 5 and 8 one hundredths. Let's try another one. This one says write 0 0.604 in expanded notation. Now our first number, that's not a 0 here, is, is in the tenths place. So that, and it's a 6, so we'd write that as 6 times 1 tenth. Our next one is a 0, so we're going to ignore that. And the last one is a 4, and that's in the thousandths place. Remember, it goes tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So this is going to be 4 times 1 over 1,000. That is expanded notation for 0 .604, or 6 tenths and 4 one-thousandths. You could also call it 604 thousandths. Last one here. We've got which shows 1 times 1 tenth and 3 times 1 hundredth as a decimal number. Well, that means there's going to be a 1 in the tenths place and a 3 in the hundredths place. So that would be 0 0.13, which would be A. So that is a little bit about expanded notation with decimals.